Hey, this video is specifically to show how to assemble the thing, what we call the sundial. There's a few products in our assortment that use this feature as far as how to, to exercise. So surprisingly, the sundial is only gonna require two little hex nuts to assemble it or to hold it in place. So it seems kind of weird. The most important function of the entire bench is gonna be used by these two little hex nuts. We'll get to those in a second. So the first thing is <clears throat> have it kind of laid out the end result, how it might look. Once you have the frame assembled where there's some stability, go ahead and take the, the lever arm that you're gonna to actually touch with your body, either your feet or your arms. Then you have the actual sundial. Uh, we just made that name up for it because it looks like a sundial. So take the sundial, and at the beginning, there's really no up or down the moment to insert it. So just get it through, right through there, and make sure the, the leg part of it or the arm part of it is facing to the body. And then the popper pin will go in one of these holes. But then the hardest part of the whole thing is gonna happen right now. It's to slide it through the sleeves right through here. You have the uh, bearings inside here. And sometimes it's so tight as far as the precision, it gets kind of difficult. So I'll put it right here and I'll slide it through. And I'll get to this point over here and it pops through. So it might take a little jiggling, but once it gets through there, that's how it should look. So kind of rest, get it set up. Now on the sundial portion that sticks over here, there's a grooved out area. So now I can take the popper pin and I can rotate this so the grooved out part faces up so I can see it. And in the unit, there's a little <coughs> long uh, lead piece looks like this. That is gonna nestle inside that groove for the reason of when this piece goes on, the groove will nestle inside there. And that's really what causes the grip of the plate arm to engage with the sundial, to engage with your legs and your arms to give resistance. So now I'll put this piece right in here. And I have the little groove there. I'll have to bring it upside down. I'll slide it in just like so. So now I can bring the sundial down, lock it in place. <clears throat> there it sits. Now comes my two little nuts that hold this together. I'll put these right here and right here. The Allen wrench is provided. I'll tighten this down. Tighten it down. Okay, everyone's in place, everyone's tight. Now how do you adjust it for the actual usage? In this example here with the CC4, I'm doing leg extensions. So if I push it this way, I go up with the weight itself. If I'm doing leg curls, I would then pull the pin out, bring the weights on this side, adjust the sundial so it goes up, put it in place. Of course, I have weights here to hold it down. Now my legs are up here and my legs are doing the leg curl. Bring it down this way. So, Hopefully all this makes sense. If you have any questions, give us a call or email us. If you do, maybe take some pictures to help us out.